Here's a crazy new use for Flex Seal. Not that I'm saying anyone should try this, but you can use it to seal a leaky, rusty gas tank. So that's a gas tank leak. Simple yeah. rust out. Yeah. You got all the way around. Can't do it if I get some gas on me. But yeah, that's definitely not a patch job. That's no. Totally redone. Yeah, not the way that the tank is. You can get a tank for this in 2006. She'd be able to. Okay, that's good news, huh? Yeah. Okay, so I let this tank run down to the bottom of the red indicator for an empty tank and I jacked it up. I'm letting it air dry as much as I can and then I'm going to spray all along there and along there and I've got to cover up that tailpipe so I don't get stuff on the tailpipe because I'm sure it's flammable. And something that would happen, I'm sure, in my disfavor if I let that do that. But what i got to do is cover all this. Since this was painted before, what I'm seeing here is a lot of paint fleck off. Just let me get dry. You see how this feels for the fleck? It's very wet here. A little bit of flecking going on there. Checking a lot now that I'm about to. Bring this out. As you can see it's leaking about as directly as a leak as you can possibly get. But it's all been cleaned because of course alcohol is a solvent, so it's going to clean the surface. I just have to let the gasoline itself evaporate away so that it doesn't interfere with the adhesion of the spray adhesive. But it's going to be from here to here. From the, that end of the wall all the way up to here, it's going to get covered. Hopefully, after having a couple of sprays in other parts of the car, we'll also still work on this. Yeah, in other parts of the cars, I use it as a uh, rust protector, spraying over areas that are rusted so that they don't completely fall apart on me. It actually adheres pretty good to the dirty quarter panels. Tacky. So in order to do this, you leave the gas tank open as much as possible. You run the engine until you hear it start to run low on gas. And then you just prop it up and let the wind blow. Okay, so I've got it dried off pretty good. You can see, hopefully you can see where it's a little lighter looking, shinier looking. Where it's actually dry. But you can still touch it and come out with some dampness from the gasoline. So we're pretty close. I'm going to hit it with a towel, try to dry it off a little more, and then we're going to go with the painting. I've got my cardboard here to block the tailpipe from getting any flex seal on it. I want to get all along the back side of this tank, which is not very good visibility. And so it's in there. You can see where it's actually quite dry in parts. So hopefully it's going to be dry enough to get a good adhesion. I'm going to towel this off too before I spray it. It's dry over there. Coming back. Doesn't start getting wet till about here. towel and then we can start working on this. So here it is sprayed down. Actually I didn't have much of a risk of getting it in the tailpipe seeing how the clean the cardboard is there but uh, just in case. So now you can see what was leaking real bad right there. Got a nice thick coating on it. Seems to be behaving itself. I also got the seam, both sides of the seam. I 
back as far as where it was dry. Well, I didn't even quite get to the dry spot there. But it seems like it's covering okay. So let's see, it says 48 hours before you can apply another coat or 48 hours to cure. So that means this is sitting here for two days. It's about three o'clock right now. So we'll take this into the weekend and then we'll see if it takes gas or not. Day two and I put in three quarters of a tank of gas. Let it sit another day and in the morning I checked it, there was no leakage. It should have leaked at least a quarter to an eighth of a tank otherwise the way it was acting before. So I would call that a success.